I wrote On the Wrong Side of the World when we last came back from Japan. We toured over there at the end of last year and we played all over the place in Nagoya, in Osaka, in Tokyo and all of us had fantastic fun. The three guys in the hit parade, all three of us, we, we grew up together. So when we play live, it really is just like going out and enjoying yourself. And when, when the time came to leave Japan and to come back to, to London, I was really, really unhappy and I didn't want to get on the aeroplane, but eventually we, we all got on the plane and we came back to London. And the first thing I did when I got back was to sit down at my piano, which I have in my room at home, and start writing songs because I find Japan to be really, really good in terms of just inspiring. So The Wrong Side of the World is a song that I wrote when I was sitting in my room and I was thinking about Tokyo and Osaka and Nagoya and all the lovely places that we visited and all the fantastic people who we met. And it's really quite a sad song because I miss everyone there a great deal and I can't wait to come back and see everyone again. On the Eve of Greatness is a song I wrote a couple of years ago, though it's been sort of mulling around my head for a bit before then. Um, the Hit Parade have always been a band who've been really sort of obscure and sort of willfully obscure. Uh, it's just been like a private thing where our friends know us and our friends come to see us and we don't, we're not really interested in being a big super superstar group or being marketed. And when we put out all these records in the past, it was it was like a very independent thing and we wanted to stick away from everything that big rock stars and big supergroups stand for. So, on the eve of greatness, did we ever want to be famous? No, we don't really. And we're happy the way we are. We're happy making, making music because we just love pop. And this is a song and we think it's great. So Say Keo is a, a very interesting song indeed. It, um, it was written at the end of last year, just when we got back from touring in Japan. We'd been supporting Edwin Collins who is of course one of our all-time heroes. Um, when we were in Nagoya um, the night before we played the concert, uh, the hit parade, all of us went out to eat and we went into a, a little restaurant in Nagoya right opposite the TV tower and when we were in there um, I caught the eye of one of the girls who was working in the restaurant and she was really lovely and she came across and I got talking to her and I asked her to come to the concert but she couldn't come to see us so I was very unhappy but anyway I bumped into her in the street the next day and we spent a few hours together and then I met her again the next day and then we had to go off and we had to go on to Osaka so I, I never saw her again and but I still think about her a lot and it, that is what inspired the song and so every time we play So Said Keo I think of her and I wonder where she is and what she's doing now Alice in Wonderland is a song that I wrote a couple of years ago it's not about a girl called Alice, but it fits in with Alice in Wonderland because when I knew this girl, it was like being in Wonderland. I knew her for quite a long time and we used to go out together and I loved her a lot. But I got the feeling that she never quite felt the same about me. So now, as things change, we fell apart and she's changed her opinion a bit and I'm now on and doing other things and we don't see each other anymore. But every so often she writes to me and she lets me know that she feels very, very strongly, but the moment's passed and we can't go back there. And so Alice in Wonderland is about that time and it's how I felt then and I still feel like that now sometimes. This next song is uh, the first time. Um, it's one of the best songs I think on, on the new LP. Um, it, it features me singing with um, a guy called Harvey Williams, who's a friend of mine. He used to play guitar in the Field Mice, and he's got his own band called Another Sunny Day, who've released some really great singles. Um, he lives quite near to me. He lives in Shepherd's Bush in London, and I live like a couple of miles away in Chiswick. And um, we meet up once every week, once every couple of weeks, and I go take my guitar around, and I play his songs, and he plays my songs. And what we did is. I took the song round and we both sung it together and we wanted to get a feel like a sort of great harmonies feel like the Simon and Garfunkel or someone like that and we tried and it, it's, this is how it worked out I think it's, it turned out great um, it's about the first time the first time anyone ever falls in love and when I wrote it I was just thinking about the feeling of what it's like to fall in love and all the things that you feel just for a moment and it never very, really lasts for very long but often the memory of it will last forever and it's something you can never forget and that is what the song's about. <laughs> 